Okay, so now we're gonna talk about some different positioning options in bed, especially for the neck and the shoulder. Um, so for the neck, if you have a burn on the anterior neck or really any part of the neck, you wanna um, remove all pillows from behind the head um, because the pillow will bring the chin down into forward flexion. And so instead, you can offer the patient a towel roll. So you can roll up a towel and put it behind their neck to kind of just support the neck and head um, and make it a little more comfortable for them in bed. Mm -hmm. And so you want the neck into um, a neutral or a slight extension. Um, and if you need to do that with a thicker towel or um, a, maybe just these are uh, pillowcases, whatever you need to get that um, position. The other thing you can do for shoulders is um, you want to have them elevated, but you also want the shoulder in a 90 degree abduction with a little bit of um, horizontal. And so you will want quite a few pillows to achieve that. And you can um, bring them out and down, depending on how the patient's doing in bed, um, to achieve this position. Uh, you want to be very cautious that the elbow and the arm is not resting against the bed rail as that will cause pressure. So you're looking for a shoulder in a 90 degree um, horizontal abduction and elbow in maybe a slight flexion and the wrist in a neutral position. Some other devices that we use to position the shoulder include a hip abductor pillow. And so this you'll see a lot of times with um, patients who've had a hip surgery. Instead, we'll use it for the shoulder this time. So we place the arm in the trough where the leg would typically be. And you're going to put the longer side towards the body and this narrower in towards the wrist. And so you're gonna set the arm in the trough and you can use these straps then to keep the arm in place. Now, in order to keep this in a, a 90 degree position without um, the arm falling out to the side, you want to make sure you have a pillow or some wedge of some sort to keep this off the bed rail. Um, another key thing to look for is that the pillow is between the arm and the bed rail as well because if the arm falls down against the bed rail, it will cause pressure there. So this is not a position you want to see. You want the wedge the shoulder wedge away from the rail with the pillow. And if you need to, if it, if it falls down, then you can also put a pillow underneath there to keep it in place. Okay, I have one other shoulder device that you may see. <clears throat> it is a shoulder abduction pillow. It has straps. And so usually we use this on patients that are able to get out of bed. Um, and so that while they're up and walking, they're not moving their shoulder side to side. And so this pillow goes against the body and the arm rests on it. And you have straps then for the upper arm. And then my velcro, a strap for the wrist, a strap that will go around the neck and shoulder to keep it supported, and then you have one final strap that goes around the body. And it will connect back to keep the pillow against the body. So that's the third option that you may see.